Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to talk about the polishes that I wore in the month of March. In the description, I will link as many sites and available polishes as I can. If a polish isn't available, I will just link the maker's site. So I think I have six manicures that I wore this month and let's go ahead and get started. So the first manicure is something that I wear on the regular base, which is a sheer topped with something. Um, so the first one, I wore Essie's ballet slippers. Now I replaced, I found out my caps and brushes um, from my brand fit the Essie bottles perfectly. Um, so I replaced my skinny brush on my bottle of ballet slippers and now it is a two to three coater instead of a four coater on me. So I replaced my brush so I wore two thicker coats of Essie's ballet slippers and I topped it off with seeing spots from my brand Pampered Polishes. Um, so ballet slippers is a sheer kind of pink tinted jelly base and then seeing spots is a green to red aurora shimmer with matte black glitter in there. I wore this one for a long while. Um, this was honestly, I had this on for a solid week of the month and I really, really enjoyed it. I did top it off with a glossy top coat. So you're gonna see two coats of Essie's Valley slippers topped with one coat of Pamper Polish's Seeing Spots. The next polish I wore is another kind of go-to color for me, which is a soft pink. This is Jody from Zoya. This one is more of a kind of bubblegum pink cream. Um, I did do three coats of this. Um, my nails were super duper short at the moment um, and I still needed that three coats. I did use a glossy top coat to seal this in and again it's just something that I go to on the regular and I really enjoyed that one. So you're going to see three coats of Zoya's Jody in a glossy top coat. So I started off with um, another sheer base. This is OPI's Bare My Soul. This is one of my go-to shears. I am halfway done with my bottle and contemplating just grabbing another one or do I just work through the other shears that I have? I don't know, but I really, really love this one. I did two coats of this and then I stamped using um, a Jurassic plate from Moyu London. And I used um, Maniology's Straight Up Black and Bam White for the stamping portion of that manicure. And then I use the Tahitian Sun Neons to kind of stamp a subtle background. These weren't super opaque creams and I feel like if I had redone the manicure, I would have wanted more of a pastel stamped look. Um, but I did really enjoy this one. I wore it for a few days. I wore it to Universal. Um, I like to theme my Universal manicures for some reason. And so, you know, they have the whole Jurassic park area um so this just kind of went hand in hand with that so i did film a tutorial on this um but i don't think it turned out very well so i don't have the tutorial edited or anything uh to put in here but i do have the manicure so that was two coats of opi's bare my soul stamped with maniology's bam white and straight up black and then the tahitian sun's neons these don't have particular names it's just neon blue neon yellow neon pink neon orange, neon green, and then neon purple. The next manicure I wore is Rock the Casbah by Cuccio. I actually pulled this one out to just paint my toenails with it, um, which was stunning, and I loved that pedicure. Um, I did end up taking it off due to chipping, which was wild. Um, but as soon as I put it on my toes, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my fingers. This is a super bright, um, neon kind of coral leaning pastel pink um, but it is still a neon so I did three coats of this to get full opacity and you're gonna see it with a glossy top coat a lot of creams this month so the next polish I wore is Gwyn from Zoya um, this is kind of more of a dusty soft pink cream um, turns out I went pretty heavy on the Kind of pinks this month um if you include the neutrals and then zoya just makes generally really good pink creams um but gwen again like i said is kind of on the more dusty pastel pink side i really really liked this one i did three coats still for full opacity um i don't know if it's just my painting style at the moment um but these were kind of i don't maybe it has to do with this big ridge that's in my fingernails um, from going a little bit ham on my cuticles after spring break. So I don't know if it has anything to do with that, but this was a stunning manicure. I could have 
I would wear something like this for like all of eternity. This is kind of my go-to safe place is a pastel pink and I love the dusty quality in this one. So you're going to see three coats of Zoya's Gwyn and a glossy top coat. And then the last manicure I wore is the standout of the month for me. I love how this turned out. Is it seasonally appropriate for spring? Probably not, but I really, really enjoyed this one. So I started off with a base of mink from Burberry. Um, this is kind of their traditional uh, tan color, a little bit darker than you would see in their handbags, um, but it is a stunning nude polish. But when I put it on, it just kind of felt not what I was going for. So I did end up doing two coats of this and intended to wear it on its own. But then I was just kind of scrolling through my stuff and found Rogue Lacquer's Batsy, which is a matte black flake topper. And I knew if I was gonna wear mink, it was gonna be just for a couple days and I was gonna take it off. So I figured I would put Batsy over it and see if I liked it. And if I didn't, again, I would take it off in a couple of days. But I really, really loved how this turned out. So I put on two coats of mink from Burberry and then one coat of Batsy from Rogue. And I was in love. Um, you are going to see this with a glossy top coat, but I really wish I would have put a matte top coat on this pairing. But this was probably, of all the neutrals and pinks um, that are my go-tos, this was probably my standout manicure of the month. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of my manicures. Let me know what you wore in the month of March. I know we are like steadily approaching halfway through April. Um, so let me know what you have worn so far this month as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time. Bye.